Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Brozovic card to review today. Um, after this one, we're going to be checking out the McKenny card too, because I think that's the one that people are going to look at the most because of the work rates and stuff, right? But uh, we're going to get started with Brozovic. With Brozovic, we're taking a look at someone who is 5'11", medium, medium work rates, right footed, three star skills, four star weak foot. So by default, with the medium, medium work rates, guys, usually not super ideal to have for the meta of the game but with the brozovic card we are taking a look at someone who is 5'11 with a lean body type, right? So the fact that he does have that lean body type could be a beneficial thing for this card, regardless of the fact that he has a medium, medium work rate, because take a look at his in-game stats uh, when it comes to the certain improvements on the card. If he gets any sort of upgrade in the future and they actually boost his pace a certain way too, you might you might be able to give him an anchor chemistry style and then you'd be looking at a very good all-round card except for the work rates part because no matter what, medium medium is usually the work rate that strays away from the meta of the game unless it's like an Nkunku card. Uh, Jorginho's pretty decent. And then there was somebody else too, but I totally forgot who it was. But player traits, we have the dice into tackle trait, which is obviously really big to have. Uh, finesse shot trait, which is okay because, you know, with his shooting, it's not necessarily the greatest. I do always feel like when it comes to the midfielders in this game, you want to be able to improve them um, as much as possible in pace and defending because shooting, it's like if they do get into those positions, right? With a card like Brozovic, guys, you could totally give him the engine chemistry style if you really want to as well, uh, depending on the boost that they actually give him in the future. Because if he has like 94 acceleration, 94 sprint speed or 92 sprint speed, that wouldn't necessarily be terrible to work with through the midfield. It just depends on how they actually boost those base card stats for that area. So it is something that you can look into because if you take a look at his defensive stats as it is, it's already in a very, very good area, right? So definitely something to look at base card stats definitely need to be improved for this card with his 73 for finishing 84 for shot power just for the meta of the game you know being able to score from certain opportunities if they actually present themselves uh he has 74 attacking positioning so maybe he doesn't attack that much you know probably a midfielder that you play in the middle uh on stay back as much as possible so no big deal there uh base card stats are passing very good on the card with an 87 for composure at a four star weak foot uh with the defending on the card on a shadow chemistry style we're going to be working with essentially perfect defending except for work rates and defensive awareness uh and then for physical stats he has 99 aggression with 99 stamina so some pretty good stuff there uh this card looks solid for what it is regardless of the work rate especially with those links you can work with with those inter milan players especially if you did the uh parasitch card but let's go ahead and switch some things here and there. Uh, the way that we are going to be lined up with this Brozovic in game, guys, is going to look like this: three, four, one, two. Playing him in that right center mid position. Uh, Dries Martins, Perisic, and Kunku. You you have a left foot, so we'll do that. Defrel, Klaus, Altano will put here, and the rest of it will leave as it is. Uh, da -da 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 -da. We'll do, eh, yeah, we'll do this. We'll do this. Rosevich on, stay back while attacking, stay on the edge of the box with the cross. And yeah, we'll see how he plays. Hopefully he's a beast. Nice little interception there. The weak foot pass, save it. Oh, was a driven cross though. No foul. Okay. Cool beans, man. Dribbling for a midfielder is not too bad. The lean body type is uh is decent for sure. I'd like to be able to have that weak foot. So if I want to play a right-footed player on that side, I have the uh the weak foot to be able to make that sort of pass if I want to. What his track back is like here? So I'll use Nkunku in the middle. Perisic is one of the midfielders, so we'll see here. So his uh, his track back is... Uh, it looks like a medium medium so far. They usually do the same thing. And Nkunku is the same with that too. Dribble. Ooh. Low shooting, eh? Low shooting. If we have a, a hunter on him or something, we'd probably score that. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> Couldn't get the timing on that one. So with his shooting animation, it's not like a uh, a light shooting animation. So you really have to time it with uh, different timings because of it. It's not like a consistent uh, animation to shoot. Do his tracking is like here. I don't want to touch anything. Okay, so that guy's gonna make the run at the bottom. We're gonna switch. He lingers. Yeah, just different timings. Different timings, because he takes a little bit longer to take the strike. Passes into me, but at least he's marking him the whole time. Little roulette. Ball roll touch. Scale move. Touch. Nicely done. Do we still have it? No? Okay. Nice, we'll take that. They move that way uh, constantly when it comes to this formation. So you could definitely see the medium medium work rate right there specifically because my other midfielder was kind of tracking back kind of quickly, but he was not as interested, you know? <laughs> Ooh, skill moves are super, super slow with this guy. His track back was okay. He got to position eventually. I could definitely tell that he's probably someone I want to use mainly in that three midfield setup for sure. He goes for an animation there, but nowhere close. At least he goes for it though. A little bit of a restriction for that initial run that he does there. It's a little bit. His marking there was perfectly fine though. That one that one was okay. Okay, so he's following that instruction of going to the side position here. Alright, now control him. Don't get the run off. He's probably gonna score that one across. Yeah, but he does follow the instruction, to be fair. Just not like crazy fast. Like I do feel that um initial acceleration kind of being a little bit low for him in regards to feel. So again here, let's not do nothing. AI defending, that's why I tell you guys, Kunde is a monster. He's following that instruction there. We're going to switch to him right here. Block this area here. We don't get anything there. He scores the finesse shot there. So a little bit weird that he doesn't even like go for any sort of interception. But it does. he does go past it a little bit, to be fair. That's pretty solid. I don't mind that. Stay on the, stay on the edge of the box here. And then this is him right here. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, we didn't get that one. Did miss time to t challenge a little bit there. There you go. It's me actually going for a challenge there. You see the difference between him and Nkunku? That's why I tell you guys that Nkunku, he got to a certain point where like, he just became like really solid. You could tell that the tracking is not really the same. What you could do actually is you know you kind of have to you have to understand that you want upgrades on the card right as much as possible but he is a media medium worker and most of these guys they just don't perform that well until that and kunku got like certain upgrades right so look at Nkunku. i wasn't even controlling him there the reason why i'm calling out Nkunku is because of the media medium worker that's the comparison that i'm making right when it, when it comes to like defensive presence and stuff because with parasitch he just seems like, or Perisic, Brozovic, he seems like someone that you mainly have to use in a neutral way, in a 4-3-3, in a 4-1-2-1-2, which you definitely can use for sure. Like that, there we go. It always feels like when you defend in FIFA, they always do that like extra acceleration touch, which is just really random. Yeah, you can kind of see with his running style, like initially when you're running, he has that like little bit of a weird sway on it, you know? Thank you. Not aggressive there, I'll take that.
Yeah, on the attack, that dribble, I just would not want to have. That's why I'm saying he, he seems like that neutral center mid in a three midfield setup. Okay, I don't want to lose the ball there to see what it's like on interceptions. I don't think the card is terrible by any means, guys. Like, it, that's not the case that I'm making. I'm just seeing if he's anything like the Nkunku card once he got that certain upgrade, you know? Oh, at least he gets that. Tracking is great there. His track back there was actually really solid. That one was actually very good. From the side position, too. Block out that area. So, from what I'm getting with this card, guys, is that I don't think he's as good as Nkunku. Which is perfectly fine. Like, that's the comparison I want to make because of the type of player that he is. Uh, but I think the card is still pretty solid for the meta of the game, especially for that link with Parasitch, which is what I think EA considered when it came to making this SPC. Nice. If someone adapts here. They do. We made a good pass, but it was just blocked. There you go. Possession base two. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Brozovic card. So guys... Um, I liked that EA released this SBC, and I'm going to tell you why, okay? This card gives you links to Serie A players, right? But he also gives you that triple link setup with Perisic. And I wish that they did this more often, right? Because this link with Perisic from a card from before, that triple link setup is great to work with. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't think the Perisic card is like crazy, right? But these cards, when they release them into the game, they are good enough or the meta of the game. They're not going to be the craziest cards, right? I don't think he's going to be on the level of the Nkunku card, but for the price of the SBC, for the price of putting fodder into it, for people who have this Parasitch card, for people who have DeVry, right, for that Inter Milan link, this is a great SBC to release. If I did SBCs constantly, these three guys are going into my team regardless. Yes, they stray away from the meta of the game for certain aspects. So with Brozovic, uh, with this card, I will say that it's kind of like this, right? So the lack of shooting capabilities, he needs to be upgraded in that if he does get upgraded. And that's going to be a really big deal for sure. Uh, because if they could boost it to like a 77, 78, but then the shot power is being boosted as well, then that would be great. But what I'm looking at when it comes to this card, guys, if he gets the upgrade, right? If he doesn't get the upgrade, you got to give him a shadow. He's going to be... Uh, good enough in the gameplay of the, the meta of the gameplay not a crazy card but he's going to be good enough in the meta of the gameplay for sure especially at the price range right but what i'm looking at mostly because of the medium medium work rates and from what i feel with the card in game in regards to this heavy and light feel i would love to be able to give him an engine right because if i can give him an engine chemistry style and they boost his base card stats for defending and physical and then his pace is going to be at around like a 94 93 area with really good passing capabilities and the shooting is there then you're looking at a pretty solid card. So it's one of those SPCs that I like because the price range is not ridiculous for what he offers in game, right? And because of the links that he offers too. Just that Perisic um, DeVry link that you can work with, that alone is very cool, right? Again, not a crazy meta card by any means, but he could be with the upgrade. It just depends on how they upgrade them. And at the end of the day, we don't know exactly how they're gonna upgrade these cards when they do but he has potential. What I will say is that currently I do like the Nkunku card more, obviously because of the French links. There's so many French cards to work with and he's actually a very solid card in game. With Brozovic, I do feel like he requires an upgrade to get that step above. But like I said, for the price range that the card is at right now, for the links that he works with, if you, st if you guys still have those cards, I think it's pretty solid. I don't think he's crazy solid in game, Right? like in Kunku, but I still think he's good enough to be played in the meta of the game. One of those types of SBCs, in my opinion. I don't think he's awful by any means. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review today. I'll catch you guys for the McKinney one after. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.